Hi, I'm Neil Smith. And I'm John Scott. We're from Diversified Vehicle Services. We want to show you our latest camper van build. Let's take a look. This customer wanted to keep their front bumper the way it was. They didn't want to change the entire fascia, but they wanted a grill guard. So John designed this grill guard for the Nissan. Um, apparently right now there's nobody on the market making anything like this. So he came up with a design, tried to follow the lines of the existing grill, and uh, we think it came out pretty good. The rest of the metal work on the van was from Illumines and Advanced 4x4. There's the custom side steps, roof rack, with a ladder. The Illumines rear bumper, storage box, and the tire carrier. The, the customer wanted the one-up bicycle racks, so we manufactured a custom stand that works off of the Illumines box that gets the bicycles up above the spare tire. We also have the rear camera and the backup sensors in the rear bumper. And in the corner, we also put the inlet for battery charging that goes to the Victron power system. Up on the roof, we have three Technic steelhead work lights, one under the awning, two in the rear, and there's four 100 watt solar panels on the roof. Dometic 9500 series awning. Uh, this one's manual. And uh, all the windows the whole way around were all supplied from the CR Larts. We're going to take a look inside. Uh, let's start here. We have the flip flop storage area. We have a small wine and cheese tray, we like to call it. Everything's on a self closed uh, Hacky Ride slide. Of course, we have the passenger seat rotates. The switches here are the interior overhead lights and the outside steel head work lights. In the kitchen area, we have the Isotherm CR130 Inox fridge. We have solid surface countertop on the kitchen, on the lagoon table mount, and again, the, the tray on the side. We have the Dometic combination single burner sink stove combo here. Overhead cabinet, uh, Victron color control, and the battery monitor. We also have tank monitoring here, water pump, and cabinet lighting. There's 40 gallons of fresh water and 14 gallons of gray water on the vehicle. For the seating area, we have three pads here. It's done in the Ford King Ranch. Um, our friend Jake at Sazi Upholstery did the uh, amazing diamond pattern. Uh, and stuffed the seat pads for us. He also did the window coverings the whole way around the van for us. For storage, there's an area here under this bench seat. And of course, we also have the two drawers here, and there's a pullout under this bench as well. Up here, we have some aircraft track with some mounting rings to hold some backpacks and other storage pouches. When we constructed the van, the floor is insulated with half inch polystyrene board, three quarter inch plywood overlay, and then the long seal long coin two coin rubber floor. The interior uh, walls and ceiling have reflectix double bubble and then a uh, minimum of two inch spray in foam uh, for the walls, the ceiling, and the doors. Then it's all bolted birch plywood covered in, in uh, Boss Ozite material. And then the ceiling is a one piece 045 gray fiberglass. On the roof, we also have a 10 speed max fan, which has the thermostat control, which will kick on at 78 degrees. All the electronics are contained in this area, with the exception of the inverter, which is in the way back container here. We'll get to that as we move our way around the back of the vehicle. On this side, we have the Webasto Airtop 2000 heater, the AC breaker box, and the water pump with an inline filter. For the sleeping arrangements, there's going to be a mattress up here and a mattress down here. But for when the customer wants both mattresses at the same level, we have this pull-out mechanism 
that'll come to here, and then the sides will extend, and then the mattress that was here can go up here. There's a height difference here, but both mattresses will be at the same plane in this mode. Here's our trunk storage area. We have a safe that's capable of holding a laptop. On this side, we have our outside hot water shower, our water fill, and our tankless hot water heater is inside here. Our shower rod connects to the body here. The outdoor shower. On this side, the inverter is in the trunk, as I mentioned before, and we also gave them a 25 foot cord reel in case they need to have electricity far away without having to run an extension cord into the vehicle. That concludes our tour of this van. Uh, check us out on our social media. The links will be below. And thanks for watching.